our mission is to save what remains. To save what's left of our city. We are the Division. Hey guys and gals, today we have the Division Collector's Edition. Uh, in Europe, this is actually called, I think, the Sleeper Agent Edition. I'm not sure there's any differences between the US and European ones. They're just different names, I think. Um, obviously, Amazon, again, as always. Amazon's doing a great program now where they finally caught up with Best Buy, and I didn't even know about the Best Buy program, where they give you, uh, Prime members get a certain percentage off, so that's pretty cool. On top of the free one day ship, uh, release day shipping. Okay, so here it is. <clears throat> Just seeing it, I actually really like this box. It's the style, it's almost a launch kit style box where it folds open, I think. So that's nice. Um, there's seals all the way around this, so let's cut those bad boys. Well, it sounds like my dog doesn't want to sit here and listen to me, so he's leaving. <laughs> All right. So you can see, I, obviously, I have an Xbox One version. I don't have an Xbox One right now. Uh, if I had the money, I'd get one. But, yeah, anyways, the, the collector's editions were all sold out except for the Xbox One version. So I ended up getting that and having to buy the game separate. So here's the back of the sleeve, which has all the stuff you'd expect on the back of a... Collector's edition, letting you know what's inside. The box is really nice. Let's get rid of the sleeve. The back of the box has some nice detailing, almost like a, a water line with a. Actually, I think it's like a. It looks like a good city, and then the city after, maybe. Maybe that's what it's kind of doing. Pretty neat. And then the sides have. Tom Clancy's The Division Collector's Edition. So let's get into it. Now this is a really nice, I like this. It's got kind of a, a velvet feel to it here, this black velvet type material. First thing on top here is the Collector's Edition art book. Tom Clancy's The Division art book, SHD. We'll flip through this really quick. Agents. Let's see, equipment. There's the watch that comes in the collection edition. I can even circle it down here. Seems like that <clears throat> that round glowing circle is kind of a a theme for the team there. All their equipment has it. It's a fairly meaty art, art book. It's not bad. It's definitely uh, definitely much better than the uh, Just Cause art book, which was very short. Concept artwork. Winter Hell. Tags. A lot more concept art. Oh, Ooh, it felt like there's another page there. Some tents, little shanties. Wall of the Fallen. Memorial to some fallen workers. And one last page, if I can get to it. Acknowledgements, and that's it. All right. I'll set that off to the side. What is this? Let's see. Oh, we'll open that in a minute. I'm actually not sure what that is. Gold edition. Tom Clancy's gold edition. 
Hmm. Let's open it up. Actually, we're not going to open it up. It's the same thing in all of them. It's just got the disc and... It's just got the disc and uh, the DLC part, so... So here's the watch. Here is the case. So let's open the case and we'll get to the watch. And then obviously, after that, it's a big old empty box with a... Which, uh, plastic. So this is just a plastic filler, but it actually does have some, like, nice velvet, you know, feeling stuff on it. So let's get rid of the box here for now. And we'll check out these last couple items. Okay, this is actually fairly nice. It's got, like, a leather leather feel to the back here the front's obviously like a rubberized plastic you get a little zipper here and then another zipper here it was a foam piece to kind of keep it spread and then the um, the the other piece to kind of latch into here so you could latch it around your arm it's pretty nice it's not bad it looks like it's actually pretty decent quality so that is good. Um, so, sorry, if I'm moving this, and I, I can't tell if I was in front of the camera perfectly there, but if I wasn't, I am very sorry. Alright, so the watch. Piece of tape. I still don't know what the heck's in this. Oh, the poster. That's what's in this. All right, sorry, we're going to do this real quick, just because, yeah. Okay, so the package is designed very poorly, <laughs> because it doesn't even open, right? I'm trying to do this without ruining the poster, although, seems like it, there we go, all right. Oh, this is that, okay. Save what awaits poster. I mean, save what remains, save what awaits. Save what remains. All done in that division style cutoff. And actually, you'll see the beginning of this, and my thumbnail image has that too. I did, <laughs> I think it looks pretty cool. It says the unboxing. Um, okay, so there's the poster. There's quite a bit of stuff in this. It's actually a pretty good collection edition, pretty good value. And this. I've seen pictures of this watch already, and it looks really nice. So let's get into it. So the case, obviously, it's actually a pretty nice, sturdy little hard cardboard type case. It says SHD on the top. You got some foam pieces. Oh, let's take that out. All right, sorry about that. My dog was making noises in the background. I thought someone might be here. So it's actually pretty nice. It's, uh metal it's actually a metal watch which is nice it's got a nice little pillow here um, yeah I'm not sure okay I huh. want to break it here no it's nice it's all metal um, it's got like a rubberized almost black paint feel to it uh, I'd, I'd be worried that this is gonna scratch easily that you know what I mean any little scratch is gonna show bright metal underneath that would be my worry uh, you can see here Stopwatch. Must have. I'm sure it has all the functions of you know a watch you'd buy at Walmart or something. And it's pretty cool looking. Okay, so alarm eight, timer, New York City Tuesday. Okay, so that's cool. It's actually a really nice watch. Um, I'm actually not gonna pull it out of this just because yeah, I'm not gonna use it so. All right, and then also inside here, there is some more stuff in the box for the watch. You have, let me see, okay, a couple spare links in case people have, uh, you know, bigger wrists. Uh, looks like a little manual and a spare battery, so that's cool. It even comes with a little screwdriver to help you change the uh, the links in the, in the band there. Overall, it seems like a, a decent watch. It is... I would say on the cheap side, it's mostly just like a cast, you know, a cast metal, which doesn't really have amazing detail to it. Um, and I, I don't know this to be true, but it's, 
I've felt watches like this that have this kind of um, whoop, this kind of uh, finish on it and you know that kind of or not necessarily on watches but on anything and that finish if you just scrape it a little bit it'll just scratch right off so I don't know if that's what this is and I'm not going to test it but um, most most ones in, uh, I've seen that are like that do that um, so yeah so overall it's a good value I'd say uh, yeah it's a pretty good value all right guys as always thanks for watching